Right, we're on. What did Ben Hogan teach us? He wrote books about how he plays golf. Amazing books at that. But how did he practice? On Instagram, there's a page called All Things Ben Hogan, and they put up a post of how Hogan practiced, or how he told us to practice. So we're going to give that a go. Do you fancy practicing like Ben Hogan? Do you think between us we can master the rotational body action that Hogan had? That's where his power came from. That's right, the turning of the body instead of the hands and arms. It's what made Hogan Hogan. <laughs> Okay, Ben Hogan, what a guy. Let me read this out to you. Oh, before we start, just before we start, if you want coaching from me, yes, that's a thing, that's possible. These links up here, that's where to go for my online diary. You can go and check availability. You can book your golf lesson, pay for your golf lesson, turn up and I'll be there. Also the QR code that's on the screen, if you scan that just now, that will immediately open up my online diary. Or if all that's too complicated for you, just go to the Peebles Golf Club website and you can book a lesson with me there. So Instagram, all things Ben Hogan, I quote, now I'll put this on the screen so you can read it while I'm talking here. Hogan says, I recommend you practice a training exercise that's designed to school a golfer to entrust his swing, not to his hands, but to his arms and body. Start in the position of address with the upper part of your arms and your elbows glued to the sides of your chest. Exaggerate this adhesion, if anything. With your arms held as stiff as a pendulum of a clock, have the turning of the body, swing the arms back about halfway to the top of the backswing, then swing them forward about halfway to the finish of the follow through, back and forth, back and forth, breaking your left knee and right elbow on the half swing back, breaking your right knee and your, on your half swing forward and later the left elbow. As you continue to do this, you will get the feeling that you're swinging with the hips, that the body is swinging the club. The effect of this exercise is to exaggerate a fundamental fact and feeling you want to have about the full golf swing. The action of the arms is motivated by the movement of the body. Ben Hogan. <laughs> oh my God, let's break that down. An actual drill that Ben Hogan did to ensure that the body swung the golf club. Okay, I'm going to keep my phone with me here so I can read as we go. So, start in the position of address with the upper part of your arms and your elbows glued to the sides of your chest. Start in the position of address with the upper parts of your arms and your elbows glued to the sides of your chest. Wow, now that is in there. Okay. Exaggerate this adhesion. How do, you, how do you exaggerate that? That's, that's in there. If anything, with your arms held as stiff as a pendulum of a clock, have the turning of the body swing the arms back about halfway to the top of the backswing, then swing them forward about halfway to the finish of the follow through, back and forth. Halfway to the top of the backswing, trying to keep my upper arms locked onto my body. Wow. Halfway, halfway, halfway. So it is very much pivot driven. If I hold it in front of me, that is pivot driven. That's the body working. That for me is easier. Then come down into impact or to address or to golf position. God, it's stressful. But it is, it's hip work that's moving the club. Not my hands and arms, I'm trying to keep this connection here, here. We're only halfway there. Trying to connect this and maintain that as I turn, 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 turn the hips, turn the hips, turn the hips, turn the hips. There's no disconnection, there's no arms doing the thing. It's just the body doing the thing. Wow. So he says go back and forth, back and forth. And then break your left knee and right elbow on the half back way, halfway back. So my right elbow has to break on the way back and my left knee. That's one action. Hogan's saying that, he's saying that's one action. The bending of the right arm and the bending of the left knee is one action. That's a very clever way to think about the rotation of the body. It's interesting the way he words it. That's what's going through his mind. It's up to us to try and interpret, interpret it. 
figure that out. Breaking your left knee, I'm, I'm in there. Breaking my left knee and right elbow on your half swing back. Then breaking my right knee on your half swing forward. So I'm there. And as I come through, my right knee starts to bend the half swing forward. And then later, the left elbow. So my left elbow's straight there, but then later it bends. So there's, there's a method to that madness. <laughs> so remember, this is only a drill. Arms locked onto the body. As the club goes back, or is, sorry, that's wrong. That's very wrong. As the body turns, not as the club goes back, as the body turns, the left knee and right elbow bend in one go. As we turn back through, the right knee starts to bend, and then later the left arm bends. Two different movements. As you continue to do this, according to Hogan, as you continue to do this, you will get the feeling that you're swinging with the hips. The body is swinging the club. The effect of this exercise is to exaggerate a fundamental fact and feeling you want to have about the full swing. The action of the arms is motivated by the movement of the body. The action of the arms is motivated by the movement of the body. The action of the arms is motivated by the movement of the body. So my body movement activates the arms. Oh yeah, there it is. I can feel there how the right knee flexes before the left elbow bends. It's all rotation. That's... Did you hear the strike? <laughs> you heard that, right? That was... Okay, hold on. I'm locked in. I'm locked in there. There. Right knee, left arm. Right knee, right arm, left knee bend. Right knee bends, left arm bends. There it is. I can feel how that's pivot driven. I can feel it's the hips that controls that. I've done it again. Feels very rotational. The elbow's close to the sides, I like that. Strange, but I like that. I feel, yeah, com completely feel how it's pivot driven. Oh, I thin that one. I was actually trying to read this at the same time. The action of the arms is motivated by the movements of the body. That what was going through my head there, that, that was... Okay. How many balls did Hogan hit doing this? I have to pull myself in there, then settle myself down. Oh, so pure. Okay. Three out of four. And just little shallow divots, look at that. So lovely little shallow divots there. Just again reading this, the effect of this exercise is to exaggerate the fundamental fact and feeling you want to have about the full golf swing. This is, this is how the golf swing should feel. An exaggeration of how it should feel. It's body turn, isn't it? Pivot driven. Oh, so good. Look at the little divot. It's nothing. Feels amazing. I have to pull that in there first. It's the only way I'm getting this done. Ah, oh, thinned it a little bit. Just a fraction. It's because my arms are so close to the body, it's hard to get down to get that strike. And if I, if I maintain, if I purely pivot and maintain my address alignments of spine, I'll get it. There we go. That was it. That's gone a long way. Yeah. That was class. I'm very impressed with the divot depth. That's, that's something that freaks me out. Um, back and forth, back and forth. Breaking your left knee and right elbow 
on the half swing back, breaking your right elbow, breaking your left knee, and right elbow on the half swing back, breaking your right knee on the half forward swing, half swing forward, and later your left elbow will continue to do this. So the left elbow will bend. As you continue to do this, you will get the feeling that you're swinging with the hips, that the body is swinging the golf club. I've got it, Ben. I've got it, man. There. Down there. Right elbow, left knee. Right knee, left elbow. And there. Feeling the drill. Oh, yes. Yes. These are great straight. Look at these small divots here. Just a little divot. How does this relate to Eureka Golf Swing then? Lots of rotation. Left knee, right elbow, right knee, left elbow. That's a long way. So then I remember reading in the past about how Hogan translates the right elbow relationship with the right hip to the left elbow relationship with the left hip. That relationship is already there doing that drill. Right elbow is on right hip, left elbow is on left hip. What it feels though is because I've pulled in. Now of course on the back swing they're going to, there's going to be separation. The right elbow is going to go away from the right side. And then on the way down we have to put that back in somehow. So I guess that's what Hogan's talking about. This is to try and feel the drill, but then getting that relationship back. So back to the drill during impact is what we need to try and do. So if I'm hitting full shot, so if I pull in, that's effectively impact. When I get to the top of my swing there, my right elbow is going to separate from the right side, but I want to get back to the feeling of the drill through impact and then let it separate there. So right elbow comes to right side, which transfers to left elbow to left side and away. That's what Hogan's talking about. This drill, this is very good. So full shot, there's the drill, there, full shot, we're going to get some separation. I feel real connection under here, tricep to lat, uh, to pec, sorry, through impact there and doing the full swing. And there, in there, full swing there. In there. Oh, it's so good. You hear that? You must have heard that. Let's do another one. There is the drill. That's the impact feeling we need. Back to that through impact. Oh, so good. That's just incredible. My word. I've hit eight or nine balls there. There's my club head. So you can see the nice shallow divot, the size of this patch I've taken in relation to my iPhone. And that is good stuff. I have to be 100% honest with you. The two balls I hit at the end, full swing, weren't much further than the drill I was actually doing. What a fantastic way to feel impact. Hogan really had it sussed. He understood, he completely understood how the body swings the golf club and not the hands and arms. It clearly states there how the body controls the arms. Man was way ahead of his time. And I'd like to just take the time here to thank all things Ben Hogan for putting that post up on their Instagram page. I hope I've done it justice by trying to replicate what Hogan's drill was. Also, don't forget to click these links here. That takes you to my online diary for coaching. I'm available, I'm approachable. Come and see me, get yourself booked in. Half an hour or an hour, even over the winter, get yourself set up for next season. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.